I think as well as the gravity of the disease, which of course is communicated to patients, it is important to recognize that we live at a time of considerable hope. Uh, certainly the treatment landscape has changed radically for the better in the last 10 years. So if I was a patient, I would want to be sure that my leukemia was well characterized, cytogenetic and molecularly. I, I would want to explore the opportunities for entering clinical trials and the uh, UK MRC group uh, led by uh, Nigel Russell has a very important portfolio of trials. I'd also be thoughtful um, about uh, wanting to understand from my clinicians what the overall treatment uh, outcome was and what the treatment blocks were going to be. I'd then be thinking that the most important decision is whether I get intensive chemotherapy or not. I'd then be thinking that uh, there's an important question if I've had intensive chemotherapy, whether I'm a potential transplant candidate, and we have increasing evidence about the importance, if you're thinking about a transplant, of tissue typing people at presentation and starting an unrelated search as soon as possible. And then if I was uh, um, a patient who was receiving less intensive treatment, I again would be wanting to explore trials options. It's important to stress that although there is a lot of positive change, this is still a time of great worry for patients. But by working together, clinicians and patients as a community, there's every chance that we can drive access to these new drugs. And, having accelerated trial recruitment through things such as the Bloodwise TAP network uh, and the LUCA and uh, Anthony Nolan supported impact transplant trial network is absolutely vital if we're going to open access to new treatments and improve outcomes.